Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey there, guys. Web Dev Hacks here. Uh, coming out to you with episode zero of the next course that we're going to do. And this next course is going to be creating a to-do list application. Uh, this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. Um, and I'm just here to take you through... Uh, a few things and let you know, uh, you know, let you know what to expect from uh, this this series here. Uh, so, basically, uh, the the people that should be learning about this course are those who are learning about um, object oriented programming, uh, those interested in the MVC paradigm, which is the model view controller paradigm, those that want to continue from the previous course, which was our static website course. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, and of course, those who just want to have fun and learn some programming. Uh, so those, all of those types of people, definitely tune in uh, and stick around because we will absolutely teach you something that you probably didn't already know. So the objective for this application is going to be able to uh, keep track of a simple to-do list that you can use in your daily life. Uh, so we're going to make the list in such a way that like you can schedule things um, in advance um, You know for, for future uh, due dates um, And we're also going to make a rustful crud which is a create read update and delete application uh, Meaning that we're going to be storing those uh, tasks uh, Into our database um, and we will be able to create those tasks read from our database update those tasks and then eventually delete them uh, once they have been done or checked off. So, uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need Composer installed, you're going to need MySQL, you're going to need PHP 7.2, and your choice of code editor. I'm going to be using Sublime Text. Uh, a lot of people use Sublime Text. You can also use Atom. I would suggest as a package uh, for Sublime Text is to use the PHP companion uh, package because it just makes things very simple for importing classes uh, and importing models and controllers and traits, which we will get into. Um, so what's going to happen during this series? You know, what's the procedure for it? So lesson one is going to be setting up our environment. That's going to be our routes. That's going to be our controller. That's our model. Um, we're also going to be setting up our database there. We're going to make sure that our .env file is set up correctly. Um, we also are going to uh, make it so that um, you can save that .env file and put it onto a production server at a later time as well. Um, so we'll have all that set up. Uh, and then the lesson two, uh, creating our create view and actually storing a task into the database. And yes, that's it. Lesson two, we're actually coding some stuff um, and, and actually making uh, you know, the application, even in lesson two. Um, th the way I like to set up these lessons is just dive right into the coding. Um, I don't like to um, you know, bog you guys down with nonsense information that you guys don't need. Um, we want to obviously learn and not necessarily learn quick to the point that we're not learning anything, but we want to learn at a pace where, um, you know, we can just roll with the punches one right after the other. So lesson three, we're going to create our index view. So that way we can list all of our tasks. And we're also going to be working with traits and timestamps in particular. Um, so that means uh, whenever you create a task, uh, instead of it saying created on July 31st, 2018 at 5.30 p.m., it'll say created at two seconds ago or 10 minutes ago or a week ago. So that's what lesson three is going to be about. Lesson four, we're going to use uh, the Laravel Collective uh, and making model form binding for our edit form and also updating our information in our database using that edit form uh, and the put method. Uh, lesson five is gonna wrap up everything. Uh, we're gonna create our delete functionality and then if at any point we need to go back and refactor any of our code, make things a little bit uh, less confusing, uh, comment our code, etc. cetera, uh, obviously you'll want to do that in lesson five after the application's almost complete and ready for production. 
Uh, so that's all I got for you today for Lesson Zero. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can also check me out and tweet me at, at underscore webdevhacks. Um, we release new videos as often as we possibly can. I know I have a lot of personal stuff that's going on in my life here in the next couple of weeks. I'm actually headed down to Memphis, Tennessee on October 17th, and I will be gone for three weeks. I will try to do a little bit of recording uh, then, um, but I'm not too sure about uh, how that's all going to work. But I still definitely will uh, you know, answer any of your questions either on my YouTube videos, uh, in a comment section, or on Twitter. So thanks a lot, guys, and stay tuned for lesson number one.